My name is Leonardo. Not that long ago, we defeated the Shredder, met our doubles from alternate dimensions, and saved the multiverse. We came home in the hope that all those troubles were now behind us, but we were wrong. I hold my katana in a relaxed, ready position. Raphael and Michelangelo are covering my flank. Donatello was watching my back. We're ready for a new battle. You're dead, freaks. No one transforms me into an ugly minion and gets away with it. Especially not you. He's wrong, you see. We're mutants as well. But we turn this to our advantage. So, yeah, that was one scene from the upcoming uh, project which I'm working on. Now, this project is called Tim and T the Shredder Wars, and it's a motion comic. It's going to be a really big, interesting project, which I'm really hoping for you guys to enjoy and love. As it's been a passion project for the past few months, and I honestly just can't wait for you to see it. Now, this comic came out a few months ago, and it was created by Genius Studios, who is a company, I want to say in Russia? And they created this comic on the concepts and the ideas from the uh, from the cancelled uh, 2003 Team and T show season eight, and they turned it into this comic, which is just amazing. And there's going to be multiple issues uh, for this story, which again it makes just even better for the storytelling. Wow. Now the art style is drawn in the, uh, in the Battle of Suicide art style, just so that it can fit more in line with what they were doing with like with Battle of Suicide has supposed to be like a continuation of that. And yeah. And there are two things which are gonna blow your mind with this uh, motion comic. So the first one is the voice acting. I've got an amazing cast. That when you hear them you'll be like, oh yeah! That sounds almost like that character, and there are definitely, I want to say, two, three people that definitely pull off this this as really perfectly as they can. And we should do feel like most motion comics when they're trying to adapt stuff from TV shows and movies. They don't normally get the best voices, but I try my hardest, and I feel like you're going to be very pleased with who I've got with some of the voices, especially some of them. But I will not name names yet. But you all know which one it is when you watch it. Now another thing which is also going to stand out quite a lot is the background music. And this is something which I'm actually looking forward to uh, showing off like how good, it's, good it is with the music. But at the same time I hated it because I need to find the music. <laughs> because I'm starting to use the original uh, soundtrack from the 2003 show. Which, to give more authenticity, that it just like a, continu like a continuation from the show, which is good and all. The only problem is, is that it's really hard to like, find the right music for the right situations, especially when you look into some of the scenes and realize that like they don't even have like specific music for like certain scenes, such as like one tolls and like on like the skateboards and stuff or, like all right, stuff like that. They don't have specific music for that, so. I need to try and find the music that they use in that scene. And it is so hard, but like, you, hopefully it'll be worth it for that. Oh god, but yeah. Now, with this, I have also put in, uh, put in production another comic, uh, which you maybe know that I've been drawing on my live streams and recommend you come follow and join us. It's been so much fun. But this is all where I'm taking the whole concept of just doing like a few comics that were just that are based on ideas and then it's turned into a whole big universe sort of thing. I, I'm not too sure what to say about this, but like this story is going to be about the fast forward stuff and it's supposed to be wrapping up the uh, There is Done, Cody, and Dark Tower storyline. And there's no release date yet. I'm hoping to get out by the end of the year, but I can't exactly say because, well, things could go wrong. Uh, but this is a real big passion project for me for the longest time, so I'm so glad I'm finally be able to do this. And once again, I'm going to be trying to get like the uh, the cards which I got from the Shredder Wars and put them into this one. But let me tell you, it does not stop there because I decided that like if I'm going to do this. I'm gonna do this properly, and I'm gonna do this to the best of my abilities. And 
I thought, you know, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do a few more stories. So that's the reason why we're going to be, or my team, which is mainly me, and just a few voice actors, um, we're going to be going back and doing some old stories to like, fill in the gaps and tie up loose ends, such as like the next one after fast food. I think it's going to be the same as the Liverpool story. Now this one's going to be about when, like, I just like a lead up to like what happened, like what happened to make uh, Samus never was, like, like, like how did Mikey lose his arm, how did Splinter die, stuff like that, which can make for a very interesting, entertaining story. Now there are other new stories which I would like to develop and actually give a full ending to, such as the Rat King, finally give him an ending that he properly deserves. He was deserves an ending. He, he never got the ending that he deserves. It annoyed me, but finally we can finally complete the story. Oh, but yeah. And you know what? It doesn't even stop there. Because hopefully if this is still going around when there could be other stories and actually make some stories such as doing nightmares recycled, which you don't know was a very very graphic and dark episode that was banned from production. But well, this time there's no constraints or restrictions against anything, so who knows? Maybe that story could come. But that really all depends if we're still doing this, which I really hope I am because this is just going to be an amazing project. Now, there are other stories which I would like to develop, well, not really develop, but like expand upon and go into, such as like what happened with Cry and Han between season three and four, which could be quite interesting story to tell. I don't know if anyone will be interested, but like, you know, it's like, it's gonna be like a really fun project to do. Just to have like, maybe stories. And uh, there are other ones which I'd like to do. I'm not exactly too sure. There was one which I was looking at the other day, which was uh, Raphael doing the Christmas Carol story, which could be quite interesting to develop into this version of Turtles. But then this series could also go beyond that and just do other like short stories as well as long stories and just stuff like that. But to also make this thing properly official, I'm also taking it in a even bigger direction. I'm making a, a website for this, which is going to keep you updated with the, the, the development, ideas, and cast, the actual comic about to read on there. Hopefully, we'll be able to get that up in time for this as well as the other thing, which is merch. I doubt many people are going to buy it, but like, I'm just giving you people the option. And the first one, which is going to be celebrating the Shredder War story, is this one. The Shredder, uh, or Shrell, on the top, or hoodie, or well, whatever one you like. And it's just simple. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even going to lie, even though I want to actually buy it now, but oh, it's just so good. So, yeah. All these things will be given a date at a, a, a later time, but I do hope you're looking forward to this as much as I am, as this has been a big project um, for me, and hopefully this will even be a bigger one in the future, and I do hope you all can appreciate it, and if you if you are nice enough, could you like at least share it around just so that it gets the like love and um, love and support that it really needs, because this is going to be something. That's going to be continuing on for, for the rest of my life, really, for the foreseeable future at the very least. But yeah, so let's hope that these comics are actually decent now. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. If you do awesome, please share, like, subscribe, and stuff. Goodbye, yo. Bye. Yeah.